Yo, what's good guys? I'm JB Hoops, and today I got a video on Ben Matherin, the 6'7 wing out of Arizona. On the season, Matherin averaged 17.8 points per game, along with 5.7 rebounds and 2.5 and assists, along with this steal on the defensive end, while shooting 46% from the field and 37.2% from three. One of the best aspects of Ben Matherin's game is his shooting ability. He's a great jump shooter, converting on 37.2% of his threes on 6.1 attempts per game. He has a smooth jump shot with good mechanics with a very high release point. He's great at getting on balance and can effectively shoot in a variety of ways. He can spot up, shoot off movement, he loves coming off screens, but he can also pull up off the dribble. Ben Matherin is great at moving off the ball to create openings to get his shot off, and that's what separates him from a lot of other shooting prospects. Ben Matherin's shooting ability gives him a high floor in the league, but he's also shown flashes of his self-creation ability, which elevate his potential to all-star and even beyond that. He can get to the rim with ease and create behind the arc. The only thing he struggles with self-creation wise is his ability to operate at a high level in between. He doesn't really shoot a whole lot of pull-up jumpers in the mid-range which would definitely add a whole different level to his game and he also isn't the best when it comes to getting off floaters. Another criticism I have is he does settle for jumpers at times and with his tools and athleticism he can score in so many other ways so I'd like to see him become more versatile with his array of moves and ways of scoring. Next I want to talk about another standout area of Ben Matherin's game which is his finishing ability. He's an excellent athlete and a great cutter. If he sees an opening in the lane, it's over for the defense. He's had some crazy dunks and posters. He can windmill, he gets his head level with the rim, and I definitely think he can be a great slasher in the league. Although he is an elite athlete and a great dunker, he does seem to struggle a little bit when it comes to finishing below the rim and through contact. If he's not skying for a throwdown, he isn't great at finishing with finesse, and that's one area of his game I and teams would like to see him improve if he's going to be drafted towards the top five. But another aspect on offense where Ben Matherin is great is his offensive rebounding. For a guard, you don't really expect a whole lot of offensive rebounding, but Matherin is really good at reading the ball off the rim, jumping up to snag rebounds and finishing through contact, which is a bit weird as he does struggle finishing through contact on a lot of drives. He averaged about 1.4 offensive rebounds a game, which led to a lot of easy putbacks and extra possessions for his team. But I think that's an area he can definitely improve and will just make him so much more of a scoring threat. Next up, I'm going to talk about his defense. Ben Matherin has the potential to be the ideal 3 and D wing, and I view that basically as a flaw for him. His on-ball defense is definitely an area of strength. He has great hands. He does a very good job at staying in front of his man. He's able to flip his hips quickly, and slide his feet pretty well. But that's not to say he doesn't have a few flaws on the defensive end. At times I've noticed he can fall asleep off the ball getting back cut and on the ball just giving up too early. He's also had a few lazy closeouts and just allowed his man to drive past him. Ben Matherin's a very physical and aggressive defender which helps him greatly when it comes to getting steals and forcing turnovers but this does also lead to a few ticky tack fouls when he's bodying up and reaching in. The final area of Ben Matherin's game I want to talk about is his playmaking ability. He has a very good handle and is capable of putting the ball on the floor in transition and in the half court. He's really solid at finding the open shooters and on the season averaged 2.5 assists which is very solid for a swing man and I can see him being sort of a secondary ball handler in the NBA. He's very solid in pick and roll scenarios, he makes solid reads and his athleticism just makes it so hard to cover. His explosive first step and bounce also allows him to be excellent at attacking closeouts. And this has also helped a lot by his insane shooting ability. I don't think he's going to be any point forward type and you're not going to run your offense through him. But he's capable of handling the rock and finding open teammates. And his handle elevates his game drastically. There's a few times throughout the season I've seen Matherin get sped up. Which could be an issue in the NBA. But with good coaching and a little refinement on Matherin's behalf I can definitely see him cleaning that up. I think Ben Matherin is pretty much a lock to be a top 10 pick at this point, but we'll see how far Arizona can go in the tournament, and I think with a few more excellent performances like the one versus TCU, he can definitely lock himself into that top 7 range, which I myself think he has already, but a few more great performances will make it almost undeniable. I've also picked out a few players to compare him to in the NBA. They're not great comparisons, they're just pretty quick. So the first one I've got is a young Wiggins, although Ben Matherin is probably a better shooter and has a better handle while being a slightly worse athlete. Another one is Paul George, so I kind of just went for a tall swing man that can handle the ball, score on all three levels, and play really good defense whilst also being super athletes. 
Uh, that's all I got for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Let me know where you think Ben Matherin's going in the NBA draft. JB Hoops, out.